do 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 Super baby. Are you ready for an adventure? Good morning guys, JJ Richards here, back again with my prep vlog video number 9. So I'm just going to go into a bit of a prep update, tell you what I've been doing this week and also my plans for the weekend. So basically, this week I have been on around 2000 calories per day. The macro breakdown of that, I'm almost on around 300 grams of protein, I'm on 100 grams of carbs, and less than 40 grams of fats. So I've been on really low fats and really low carbs this week, and I'm definitely starting to feel it towards the back end of the week. The only other changes I've made is cardio. So I've now added 20 minutes of cardio post-workout, and I also do 20 minutes of cardio on my rest day from weights. So I've upped the cardio a little bit, but I'm only intending on doing that for this week and also the following week. And then I'll start tailoring the cardio off just to give my legs time to recover for my competition. So the special announcement that I'm going to tell you all today is... My original plans for the competition was going to be the Portsmouth show, which is in five weeks' time. However, I've decided that there's a show two weeks before that in Birmingham. And I've always had this in the back of my mind, but I just wanted to not rush my prep and see how I looked as I got closer to the show. So I've decided that I'm going to jump into the Birmingham show as well, which is two weeks before the Portsmouth show. So now, technically, I am only three weeks out. So I'm going to slightly change things for these next couple of weeks. So I've been on fairly low carbs, like I've said, and low fats this week, and I'm going to have a high carb weekend. And then I'm probably going to do the same protocol next week. And then when I'm two weeks out, I'm just going to see how I look and then probably cut out the cheat meals and then hopefully just cruise into the competition from there. I think I'm looking pretty lean most places. I've still got a little bit of stubborn body fat just in my middle section of my abs that needs to come off and also just a little bit off my lower back. My legs are looking pretty dry, but they will come in more detail once I cut back on the cardio and cut back on the training. So that is my announcement. So it will be closer than expected for the first time I get on stage this year. Other things to talk about, sleeping. My sleep is absolutely atrocious, so I'm probably waking up every hour at least and consistently come four o'clock in the morning, I'm up, out and doing my cardio. I mentioned in my last video that I've started supplementing with GABA. So GABA is gamma amino buric acid. So it's basically an amino acid and it helps with the neurotransmission of the brain which releases a calming agent within the brain to help you relax more. And it also, there's been some studies to say that it also increases growth hormone release whilst you're sleeping as well, which will obviously help with recovery. So far, I've not really seen a massive improvement in regards to my recovery, especially in my lower body because it's still really aching. And I'm not really seeing an improvement in the quality of my sleep. The only real notice, noticeable change is when I wake up in the morning about 4 o'clock, I don't quite feel as tired. So although I am having the same amount of sleep, I feel like it's slightly better quality sleep. But I'll keep going with it, I'll, I'll try it out again this week and see if there's any improvements. When I was Googling it, I noticed that the dosage I was taking was quite low. So I have increased my dosage to about 3 grams of this. But you can go up to 5 grams of it as well. So I'm going to slowly taper it up and see if there's any improvements. Right, let me show you what I've got for meal number 1. So in here, I've got a 100 grams of oats. And that's dry, uncooked weight. I've also got one scoop of whey protein and one banana. And I've also added in 
30 grams of these muscle food high protein crunches. So the macros on these are actually really good. They're basically per 30 grams, which is what I've got in here. There is only 1.7 grams of fat. There's 14 grams of carbs, but 0 0.6 grams of sugar, which is awesome. And there's also five grams of fiber as well. So I would highly recommend the high protein crunches. They taste quite nice. They're sort of like, um, I'm not sure if you can see them, but they're sort of like, um, is it Frosties or Corn Flakes? I don't really eat cereal too much, so I'm not really sure, but they sort of look and taste very similar to that. So I'm gonna also add in those. So let me tell you what the total macros are for my breakfast today. So there's 94 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and 49 grams of protein. So that equals exactly 700 calories. So I'm gonna eat this. I've also got some of the Maple Walden Farm syrup as well. And then I'll see you a bit later. Listen to this, nothing beats the sound of metal weights clanging and banging. No better noise than that. Whew. Easy. Uh, 220 kilos, three weeks out. Easy. Lightweight, baby. Not.
timer for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes of counting. Right, so I've just finished training legs. So, it's about half six, what time are we getting here? About five o'clock. So I think I've probably been training legs for about an hour and a half. I've got 20 minutes of cardio to do. A little bit of stretching, so all in all it's probably going to be about a, a two hour workout. It's three weeks out and I'm pulling 180 for reps, doing deadlifts and squats. This close to a competition is difficult to do, but as I always say, I still keep the compounds in right up until a week before the show, just because for me that's what my body responds well to. And it effectively burns more calories as well. A lot of people will use machines, but that ain't the way I train, you know, hard and heavy, back to basics. So you get this cardio done. I didn't think the wife was going to join me, however, she's been a good, good supportive wife and she's joining me on the cardio. But in order to get through it, we're going to plan what we're going to eat after this. So once I finish on the bike, I'll show you what we're going to have for our refeed meal. See you in 20 minutes. So currently just driving around Clifton in Bristol, trying to find a place called, is it the Burger Shack or the Burger Joint? The Burger Joint. The Burger Joint. But we're not having much luck at the minute. <laughs> Lucy is under massive pressure because she's currently trying to parallel park in an extremely tight spot. She's doing okay. I'm doing good. She's doing okay. I'm using the light for my iPhone, so sorry if it's a bit bright. Oh, oh, nice. Curved it though. Have you? I have, yeah. I'm on a curb. Are you on a curb? I am, but I don't really care. That's all right. Does it bother us? That's all right. I'll I'm give hungry. you. I'll give you a seven out of ten. Thanks. Right, let's come find this burger place. I'm hungry. Where the hell is this place? Do you, do you think it was down the side street? Are you sure? <laughs> oh, the burger joint, scene. You see? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Here we are. So, the burger place was fully booked. So, we've got to wait 40 minutes. So, we've come for a drink. But I'm pretty sure it's a gay bar. And this is what I'm drinking. Water. It's about as rock and roll as it gets for me. 